Welcome to the Smith Weekly Swat Daily Devotional Podcast presented by myself, Victoria Eirk. Without further ado, let us start with prayer. Father Lord, Almighty King of Kings and Lord of Lords, as we read or listen to your word today, help us to understand it and to live by it every day that we should not just be hearers of the word but doers of it. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Okay, so the title of today's message is The Way to Overcome. First of all, let me say Happy Valentine's Day. And on Valentine's Day, let us celebrate the love of God and not the love of the world. So, The Way to Overcome is the title of today's message, and we are going into 1 John chapter 5. 1 John chapter 5 in the New King James Version. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone who loves him who begat also loves him who is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not bothersome, for whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is he who overcomes the world but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is he who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not only by water but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit who bears witness because the Spirit is truth. For there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one, and there are three that bear witness on earth, the spirit, the water, and the blood, and these three agree as one. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater, for this is the witness of God which he testified of his Son. He who believes in the Son of God has the witness in himself. He who does not believe God has made him a liar, because he has not believed the testimony that God has given of his Son. And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. These things I have written to you, who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life, and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. Now, this is the confidence that we have in Him, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us, and if we know that He hears us, Whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. If anyone sees his brother sinning, a sin that we shall not lead to death, he will ask, and he will give him life for those who commit sin, not leading to death. There is a sin leading to death. There is sin leading to death. I do not say that he should pray about that. All unrighteousness is sin, and there is sin not leading to death. We know that whoever is born of God does not sin. But he who has been born of God keeps himself, and the wicked one does not touch him. We know that we are of God, and the whole world lies under the, way, the sway of the wicked one. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us an understanding, that we may know him who is true, and we are in him who is true, in his Son Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, what a powerful word for Valentine's Day. So the greatest weakness in the world is unbelief, while the greatest power is the faith that works by love. Love, 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 love. So the thing here is that to overcome the world, we have to believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. It is our faith which overcomes the world. The world is filled with fear, torment, remorse, and brokenness, but faith and love are sure to overcome. Now, how do we walk in this faith? We walk in faith when we believe God's word, and to believe his word, we have like we have to know to accept actually that his word is true. And faith goes hand in hand with love. As the word of God says, perfect love casts out fear. But fear is the enemy of faith. So if you are walking in fear, it then means that you are probably still doubting some aspects of God's love for you. And how do you get there to believe that God loves you? It's by believing his word. So all turns around believing his word. 
So, God loves me so much. These are a few affirmations that you should like have in your mind if you are a Christian. From what we read, yeah, from what we read, God loves me so much that he will answer my prayers in Jesus Christ's name. Whatsoever you ask in the name of Jesus, the Father will do it for you, or I will do it, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Do you remember those words of Jesus? Yes, he said it, so he meant it. God loves me so much that he will not let my walls fall to the ground without them coming to pass. Where do we see it? We see it in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 17 to 18. Like God was with him, and the words that he said, God did not let them come come like fall to the ground without coming to pass right god loves me so much that he will not disappoint me is that not what he said in his word that whatsoever you ask in his name he will answer so that your joy will be complete right god loves me so much that he will not let me pray for the sick without them being free okay because at times we're scared of praying for the sick because we wonder like what if nothing happens first of all not it's not possible for nothing to happen if you pray in faith and secondly god loves you so much and he loves that person so much his love for that person is definitely greater than your love for the person so god's gonna he's gonna work it out okay god loves me so much that he will back up all my words with his power if you're speaking god's word in faith god's gonna back you up why do i know this because god said that whatever you bow you you bind on earth is bound in heaven whatsoever you lose on earth is lost in heaven right he's the one who said it so we gotta believe him okay god loves me so much that he gave his he gave his only begotten son for me god loves me so much that he set me completely free from sin god loves me so much that he gave me authority in the name of jesus christ over sickness and disease over the devil and his demons that is written in your bible okay it's written in your bible god loves me so much that he already said yes and amen to me for all his promises yes it's written in your bible all his promises are yes and amen so when you start so we have to actually learn to accept that god loves us it may be hard because us as human beings without the nature of god we do not know how to love and when we've experienced people who've lied to us disappointed us hurt us made promises that they did not keep it becomes like hard to believe in love especially like valentine's day i will ask you please believe because there's so many people who've been broken hearted out there you believe in love but not in any kind of love because the love of the world is enmity as against god you have to believe in god's love in god's love for you because god is love god does love is not just something that god does love is who god is so i, I will ask you i'll plead to you me too i've had a broken heart right now i'm having a broken heart many people have a broken heart but there's one thing that that we have to remember we have to believe in love and not the love of the world i'm not talking about romantic love i'm talking about the love of god even if you give up on every human thing you know believe in god's love okay don't give up on his love let's go back to the scriptures that we read let's go to first john chapter 5 verses 4 to 5 let's make confessions right now okay i am born of god as such i overcome i conquer i subdue i get victory i prevail against the world and my faith in god and his word is the victory that overcomes the world because i believe i trust god that jesus is the son of god because i believe i've overcome the world so this is how you're supposed to meditate on god's word this is how jews meditate on god's word and you know that jesus was born in a jewish family okay this is how the israelites meditate on the word of god i don't know all the meditation techniques but this one i know it you personalize the word for yourself you put i inside and you make the sentence to be about you that's how we do okay first john chapter 5 verse 10 if i do not believe god i make him a liar because i believe not the record that god gave of his son as we said previously unbelief is a sin right First John chapter 5 verses 12 to 13 because I have the son of God and because I believe on his name I have eternal life and this life is in his son his life this life I transmit when I lay my hands on the sick or raise the dead I have eternal life verse 13 I know that I have eternal life and thus I believe on the name of the son of God 
Verse 14, I have this confidence in him that anything I ask, call for, crave for, desire, require according to his will, his word. He hears me, and because he hears me, I know that whatsoever I ask, call for, crave, desire, require, I know that I have it. I have the petitions that I desired from him. Verse 18, I am born of God, as such I sin not, but because I am begotten of God, I keep myself, I preserve myself from this world. For example, I preserve myself from unbelief, I preserve myself from sin, I preserve myself from bad company. There are so many people who are involved in sins, like, and you in your mind you think that you will never overcome it, while you are, they, they are just a few steps, block the people with whom you are committing those sins and start a new life. And you're going to see, if you don't have, comp- there's some sins that if you don't have company to, car- to carry them out, you are starving them. And when you, do- when you starve those sins and that you read your word in an intense manner, you confess God's word, you worship, you don't have time for those stuff anymore. When you focus on doing the do's, you will not have time to do the don'ts as pastor curry blake says okay so there's some people like you're still wondering how do i overcome this sin and i know that feeling and i'm telling you for sure the best way to do that is like stuff it get rid of the things the environment the people whatever thing was bringing you back to that scene at times it's just a decision if it's alcohol like you decide i'm not taking alcohol anymore ever in my whole life for example and you trust God, like God back me up in that decision and you decide that you're doing it by the power of the Holy Spirit and you see it. And some people are going to say, you don't know what I went through. You don't know how hard it is. You don't, I know, I know, I don't know. I know that I don't know your situation. But I know one thing, that God's word is true and you cannot fail. And that as he said in his word right here, as we just said it, we know that if we ask anything according to his word and that we believe we are going to receive exactly what we ask. So let us stand on the word right now. Don't care about the times it did not work because you did not believe. This time believe, stand up, stand firm, get out of sin and see the miraculous power of God and close them out to all those voices which were saying that you cannot be set free because those voices were the lies of the devil, okay? So because I'm begotten of God, I keep myself from sin and from the world and from unbelief and from everything which is not of God and the wicked one touches me not. We will conclude by saying that if you are convinced of God's love for you, you will not fear. You will step out more. You will preach the gospel more because you focus less about what are they going to think of me? What are they going to say about me? And you focus more on God loves me. This is going to be awesome. We're going to have a good time. The word's going to be preached. People are going to be saved. People are going to be healed, you know. Because your focus will be on God's love for you, okay? So let us like really shift the focus from others to God loves me, so it's going to be all right. God loves me, so it's going to be all right. God loves me, so it's going to be all right, okay? Don't doubt God's love for you and don't stop believing in love, okay? God loves you. So we will end with this quote from Smith Wigglesworth, which says, Being more than overcomers is to have a shout at the end of the fight. Being more than overcomers is to have a shout at the end of the fight. Let us pray. Father Lord God Almighty, I thank you because you love me. And because you love me, I shouldn't worry about anything because you love me. Help me stand firm on this truth every day that you love me. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. In Jesus' name, amen. So right now, um, thank you for listening. God bless you. If you need prayer, please contact me. If you need discussions, if you need us to like talk, whatever about this, God's word or anything which surrounds God's word, worship, praying for the sick, contact me on Instagram. I have added my links in the description somewhere around there. So Uh, God bless you. Don't forget to share this on social media and to join us tomorrow for the next part. Bye-bye.